Imagine a city the size of 470 football fields, carved out of the ocean where billions of dollars worth of goods move every single hour. Now imagine that same city operating in near total silence. No shouting dock workers, no diesel fumes, and most strikingly, not a single human soul in sight on the ground. This is the Yangshan Deepwater Port in Shanghai, a $20 billion engineering marvel built on man-made islands, 30 kilometers away from the mainland. It is the heart of global trade, yet it is run entirely by a digital brain. Here, five G-powered automated vehicles and massive robotic cranes perform a synchronized dance, moving over 40 million containers a year with surgical precision. But this isn't just about robots replacing humans. It's a geopolitical statement. In a world where supply chains are the new front lines of war, China hasn't just built a port, they've built a ghost machine that never sleeps, never tires, and never makes a mistake. How did they pull off this impossible feat in the middle of a typhoon-prone sea? And what does this ghost port mean for the future of the global economy? To understand why China spent $20 billion on a ghost port, we first have to look at a map. For decades, Shanghai was the undisputed king of trade, but it had a fatal geographical flaw, the Yangtze River. While the river brought wealth, it also brought massive amounts of silt, making the waters surrounding the city dangerously shallow. Most of the old coastal areas were only 7 to 10 meters deep. In the early 2000s, a revolution was happening in global shipping. Vessels were getting gargantuan. The new generation of mega ships, capable of carrying over 20,000 containers, required a draft of at least 15 meters to dock safely. Shanghai was facing an existential crisis. Stay shallow and become obsolete, or find deep water. But there was no deep water near the coast. The nearest suitable location was a group of small, rugged granite islands called Greater and Lesser Yangshan, sitting 30 kilometers out into the treacherous East China Sea. The proposal was insane. Build the world's largest container terminal on a series of islands and connect it to the mainland via one of the longest cross-sea bridges ever conceived. This wasn't just a construction project. It was a battle against nature. The East China Sea is notorious for its violent typhoons and massive waves. Engineers had to figure out how to transport thousands of tons of cargo daily across a 32-kilometer bridge, the Donghai Bridge, that had to be sturdy enough to withstand Category 15 typhoons and flexible enough to endure seismic shifts. By choosing this path, China wasn't just solving a depth problem, they were reclaiming the sea itself. They decided that if the geography didn't suit their ambition, they would simply rewrite the geography. This set the stage for one of the most aggressive land reclamation projects in human history, turning jagged rocks into a flat, high-tech fortress of trade. When Chinese engineers first stepped onto the Yangshan Islands in 2002, they didn't find a construction site. They found a nightmare. These were nothing more than jagged granite peaks poking out of a turbulent ocean. To build the world's most advanced port, they couldn't just build on the islands. They had to fundamentally rebuild the islands themselves. This was the start of an engineering feat that would redefine the limits of land reclamation. The first challenge was the terrain. The islands of Greater and Lesser Yangshan were too small and too mountainous. The solution was brutal and effective. Thousands of tons of explosives were used to blast away the granite peaks, leveling the islands to create a flat foundation. But even then, they needed more space much more. Engineers began a massive dredging operation, sucking up millions of cubic meters of sand from the ocean floor and pumping it into the gaps between the islands. This wasn't just filling holes, it was creating hundreds of hectares of new stable land where once there was only open sea. To prevent this man-made land from being washed away by the fierce currents of the East China Sea, they constructed massive seawalls and breakwaters, armored with tetrapods, four-legged concrete blocks designed to dissipate the energy of crashing waves during typhoons. However, building on reclaimed land presents a massive technical risk, settlement. If the ground isn't perfectly stable, the massive weight of millions of containers and 100-ton cranes would cause the port to sink or tilt. To solve this, China utilized a sophisticated sophisticated technique called vacuum preloading and vertical drainage. They drove thousands of plastic pipes deep into the soft mud of the seabed, using massive pumps to suck out the water and air, compacting the soil at an accelerated rate. What would naturally take decades of settling was achieved in months. This created a rock-solid foundation capable of supporting the heaviest 
machinery on Earth. As the land took shape, the focus shifted to the infrastructure. They didn't just build one terminal, they built a sequence of them, each more advanced than the last. Phases one through three established the massive scale, but it was phase four that truly shocked the world. This final phase added 2.3 million square meters of space entirely dedicated to automation. This shoreline allows seven massive 200,000-ton ships to berth simultaneously. To give you an idea of the precision required, the underwater foundations for the key cranes had to be perfectly level across kilometers of shoreline. Despite being built on reclaimed soil in a seismic zone, the result is a feat of civil engineering that rivals the Great Wall in its ambition. China didn't just wait for the future of trade to arrive. They paved a $20 billion path for it through the middle of the ocean. They transformed a cluster of fishing rocks into the Gibraltar of the East, a fortress of concrete and steel designed to dominate the 21st century oceans. While the physical construction of Yangshan is staggering, its true genius lies in its invisible architecture. This is phase four, the world's largest and most advanced automated terminal. To walk through it is a surreal experience. It is a massive, high-speed industrial ballet where every performer is a robot. The brain behind this operation is a domestically developed terminal operating system, TOS. It processes millions of data points every second, orchestrating the movement of thousands of containers without a single human intervention on the ground. The stars of this show are the AGVS, or Automated Guided Vehicles. These look like massive, flatbed trucks without cabs. Unlike traditional trucks, they don't need drivers or even steering wheels. Instead, they follow a complex web of more than 6,000 magnetic nails embedded in the ground, combined with ultra-fast 5G connectivity and LiDAR sensors. This allows them to navigate the terminal with millimeter precision, stopping and starting in perfect harmony to avoid collisions. They are powered by electricity, making the terminal significantly quieter and cleaner than traditional diesel-powered ports. Above them, the bridge cranes tower over the ships. In a traditional port, a driver sits in a cramped cabin 50 meters in the air for hours. At Yangshan, the operators sit in a comfortable office kilometers away, monitoring the process through high-definition cameras and joysticks. One operator can manage multiple cranes simultaneously because the system handles 90% of the movement automatically. Once a container is picked up, the AI decides exactly where it should be placed in the storage yard to ensure the fastest possible retrieval when the next ship or train arrives. This isn't just about saving labor costs, it's about predictive logic. The system knows which container needs to leave first and organizes the stacks accordingly. It's a 24-7 operation that never gets tired, never needs a lunch break, and isn't affected by human error. The world of global shipping into a perfectly timed digital symphony. To truly grasp the scale of Yangshan, we have to move beyond the engineering and look at the brutal reality of the numbers. In the world of global trade, efficiency is the only currency that matters, and China is currently printing that currency faster than anyone else. For over a decade, Shanghai has held the title of the world's busiest container port, but the addition of the Yangshan Mega Complex didn't just maintain that lead, it created a gap that the rest of the world is struggling to bridge. In 2024, the port of Shanghai handled over 49 million TEUs, 20-foot equivalent units. To put that into perspective, that is more than the combined throughput of the top five ports in the United States. While major Western ports like Los Angeles or Rotterdam often struggle with congestion, strikes, and aging infrastructure, Yangshan operates like a high-speed processor. In the first half of 2025 alone, Yangshan's automated terminals handled over 14 million containers. This isn't just a slight improvement. It's a total reimagining of what a port can do. The most devastating number for China's competitors is turnaround time. In the shipping industry, a ship only makes money when it's moving. Every hour spent docked is a loss of tens of thousands of dollars. Because of its 5G-enabled automation, Yangshan can load and unload ships up to 30% faster than traditional ports. A mega vessel that might take two days to process in a European or American port can be back at sea in less than 15 hours at Yangshan. This efficiency has a pull effect. Shipping lines prefer to dock where they are treated fastest, but it's not just about speed, it's about the sheer density of trade. 
Yangshan is the primary gateway for the Made in China phenomenon. Everything from the smartphone in your pocket to the EV in your driveway likely pass through these robotic gates. By centralizing such a massive volume of trade in one automated hub, China has achieved economies of scale that are impossible to replicate. The $20 billion price tag might seem high, but when you consider that it handles trillions of dollars worth of goods, the investment pays for itself in strategic influence alone. This dominance has triggered a global arms race in port technology. From Singapore to Abu Dhabi, nations are frantic trying to automate their docks to keep up with the Yangshan standard. However, China has a massive head start. They aren't just building the ports, they are now exporting the technology, the cranes, the AGVS, and the software to other countries. This means the brain of global trade is increasingly being written in Chinese code. As we look at these charts, one thing becomes clear. Yangshan is no longer just a port in China. It is the benchmark for the entire planet. If you want to know what the global economy looks like in 2030, you don't look at Wall Street, you look at the silent robotic piers of the East China Sea. But perfection comes with a price, and Yangshan's total reliance on technology is its greatest vulnerability. In a world of escalating trade wars, this ghost port is a high-stakes target. Because every crane and vehicle is controlled by a central digital brain, a single sophisticated cyber attack could paralyze the entire global supply chain in minutes. The threat isn't just digital, it's geopolitical. In August 2025, the U.S. imposed heavy sanctions on Yangshan massive fuel storage units, sending shockwaves through the energy markets. This move exposed the port's role as more than just a container hub. As climate change intensifies, this $20 billion fortress faces nature's wrath. Rising sea levels and super typhoons threaten to swallow the very islands China fought so hard to create. Is Yangshan a permanent monument to human genius or a fragile giant one glitch away from collapse? You might think a robotic port in the East China Sea has nothing to do with you. But the reality is that Yangshan is the hidden engine behind your lifestyle. Every second saved on these automated piers translates into cents saved on the products you buy. Whether it's the latest smartphone, a pair of sneakers, or the components for an electric vehicle, the Yangshan efficiency is what keeps global inflation from spiraling even further. By slashing turnaround times and reducing human error, China has effectively lowered the tax of distance. This port is the reason why a product manufactured 5,000 miles away can arrive at your door faster and cheaper than something made in your own region. However, this convenience creates a dangerous dependency. We are now tied to a single automated gateway that holds the keys to the global market. As Yangshan continues to break records, it forces us to ask, have we traded our industrial independence for the sake of cheaper shipping? This isn't just a port, it's the world's most expensive gamble on a future where geography no longer matters. The $20 billion ghost port of Yangshan is more than just a terminal. It is a monument to a new era. It represents the moment humanity successfully handed the keys of global commerce over to the machines. China has proven that with enough capital and engineering will, even the ocean can be tamed and digitized. But as we look at the silent, rhythmic movement of these robotic titans, a haunting question remains. Is this a model for the world or a unique Chinese fortress that no one else can replicate? While other nations struggle to upgrade their aging docks, Yangshan is already moving toward its next evolution, fully green, zero emission shipping corridors. The sinking port that critics predicted decades ago has instead become the rising star of the 21st century. Whether we view it as a technological miracle or a geopolitical threat, one thing is certain. The future of trade is no longer a human endeavor. It is a silent, automated, and relentless machine. And it's just getting started.